Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim and uh, welcome back to this next video and uh, this is uh, actually uh, a series of videos uh, on the uh, pedigree analysis uh, that means uh, on the family tree so the first thing is what is a pedigree now the pedigree is one of the most important and commonly used tools uh, in the field of medical and human genetics and the pedigree actually show the relationship among the family members and that which family members are affected or unaffected by a particular genetic disease so the uh, pedigree is going to show you the uh, relationship between the family members and their status as affected or unaffected by a particular genetic disorder now when you talk about the uh, genetic diseases uh, the genetic diseases can be broadly of four different types the first one that is known is the autosomal dominant what I mean by the autosomal dominant is, uh, before going into the autosomal dominant, you should know that the genes, they actually come in pairs in human beings. So if this is, uh, you can say, uh, a pair of the genes. So this would be one allele, this would be another allele. So what happens is that in the autosomal dominant genetic disorder, if one of the member of this pair is uh, an abnormal allele or a diseased allele, the particular individual is going to express the symptoms of that particular uh, genetic disorder. Now this autosomal mean that the gene is present uh, from chromosome number 1 to chromosome number 22. So it can be present on any of the chromosome between the chromosome number 1 and 22. But it will not be present on the X or the Y chromosome. Or in simple terms you can say that the gene that is responsible for causing this particular uh, autosomal genetic disorder that would be present on the non-sex chromosomes. So when we use this term dominant with the autosomal one, that means that the uh, gene in question is present on the uh, non-sex chromosome and only a single copy of the abnormal allele is enough to cause that particular genetic disorder. The second type of the genetic disorder that is known as the autosomal recessive. Autosome, autosomal mean the same thing that we discussed for the uh, autosomal dominant. And the recessive mean that both copies of the pair they have to be in their abnormal form or both of the allele that should be the abnormal in order to express that particular genetic disorder so this would be the difference between the two that here you only need a single copy of the abnormal allele here both the copies of the pair they should be in their abnormal state to express an autosomal recessive genetic disorder the third type that is known is the uh, X-linked dominant. So the concept of the dominant that remains the same. But if you look at over here, this is X-linked. That means that the gene in question for a particular genetic disorder will be present on the X chromosome. So if you look at over here, uh, you know that in the females, there are two X chromosome. And on this X chromosome, you have got this capital B, meaning that this particular allele of the pair that is normal, but this particular member of the pair that is abnormal. So as a single uh, copy of the uh, allele that is causing the disease, therefore this is a dominant disease. And as the gene is present on the X chromosome, so this would be an X-linked dominant genetic disorder. When you talk about the males, the males have got only one X chromosome and if the uh, allele that is abnormal, <coughs> that means that this particular <coughs> male is going to express the uh, genetic disorder. When you talk about the X-linked recessive one, the concept is very much similar to the autosomal recessive. The only difference between the two is that here the gene is present on the uh, non-sex chromosome. Here the gene in question is present on the X chromosome. And as you can see over here, both the copies of the pair, they are in their abnormal form. And in the males, as they have got only one X chromosome, so the uh, member that is present, that would be an abnormal uh, allele. Now, when you talk about the uh, pedigrees uh, and or if you have ever seen a pedigree, you will see different kind of the signs and these signs, they signify a particular meaning. For example, if you talk about the males and if there is a normal male, that means he is not expressing that particular disease uh, that is actually represented by uh, an unshaded square. So uh, an empty square or an unshaded square, that means a normal male. When you talk about the affected male, so this square is then actually shaded. So the shaded uh, square that will represent that the male is affected. 
When you talk about the carrier male, uh, as you would see that in the autosomal recessive disorder, so the carrier male is actually represented by this particular sign that the square is half filled and that is uh, half unfilled or that is half shaded or that is half unshaded. So the normal male in this particular form, the affected one in this particular form and the carrier in this particular form. When you talk about the dead male, uh, there is actually this line above the uh, square and this line actually means that this particular male is dead. When you talk about the female, so an empty or unshaded circle that represents a normal female. When you talk about the affected female, so just like the male, the shaded circle is going to represent an affected uh, female. When you talk about the carrier, uh, the carrier is actually represented uh, by two different signs depending on the type of the genetic disorder. Now, if the genetic disorder uh, <coughs> that is autosomal recessive in nature, so in that particular case, the female is represented in this particular form. So if the female is carrier for an autosomal recessive genetic disorder, half of the circle that will be shaded and half of the circle that would be unshaded. So when you talk about the female in the X-linked recessive genetic disorder, she would be represented by this particular sign, uh, a circle, but uh, but between the circle you will see this uh, point or this, uh, you can say a little small circle inside this bigger circle. So that is going to show that the female is carrier, but for an X-linked recessive genetic disorder. When you talk about the dead female, just like the male, there would be a line on the uh, circle because the circle is actually representing the female. So if there is a line, that means that she is dead. There are also other signs that are used. Uh, for example, uh, if you talk about the uh, male and the female and if they are mating with each other or if they are married or they are, say, for example, in couple form. So actually this line between the male and the female whether the male is normal or abnormal, whether the female is normal, abnormal carrier, whatever the case is. But if there is a single line between a male and a female, so this single line is actually indicating matting. That means that the male and the female, they are matting and you can actually expect the offspring. So the single bar that would indicate matting. If there are two bars, if there are two lines between the male and the female that is still showing matting, but it is actually representing the cousin matting. That means the matting between the close relatives. <coughs> there are other, uh, also other uh, signs and lines that are used uh, when you talk about the pedigree. For example, as I told you, this line is actually your marriage line. This straight line uh, from this line, that is actually the line of descent. And these lines over here, they are actually known as the sibling line. So if you look at over here, uh, this female and this male, they are matting with each other and they are producing two offsprings. So these offspring, as they are produced by this couple, so they are connected by this line of descent. And this line is actually showing the sibling because these two, they are sibling and they are connected to each other by this particular line. Now there are also these numbers they are used like the, <coughs> excuse me, like the one and the two. So this one and two that actually indicate the birth order. Uh, and this birth order they are actually indicated by number so this would be the first birth and this would be the second birth for this particular couple another important thing is if you will see these uh, roman numerals over here and these roman numerals they are actually uh, showing you the generation number so this would be the first generation and this would be the second generation and so on depending on the type of the pedigree you can have three generation four generation five generation but these are roman numerals they are going to show you the uh, generation number uh, there are also other signs that you would see in a pedigree so if you look at this line like single uh, uh, single line or horizontal line then a vertical line and then these two lines and if they are connected to each other, this is actually uh, indicating the uh, fraternal twins. That means the non-identical twins. But if you look at this particular sign, this particular sign are actually going to show you the uh, identical twins. So this particular, this extra line that is actually showing you the uh, identical twins. So uh, if you like the video, please subscribe to my channel, hit the like button and share it with your friends. And in the next video, I'll be focusing on the uh, autosomal dominant pedigrees, uh, how to solve the uh, autosomal uh, dominant pedigrees.